Hi, welcome to the Raising the Standard show. I'm Dr. Andrea Ramirez, and I am so glad to introduce you to my co-host today, Dr. Gus Reyes. Thanks good for joining here. us. It's going to be a good show today. Yeah, today we are talking about being light. Wow. You know, Pastor Samuel Rodriguez uh, really feels like there's a message on his heart about yes. being light. And yes. he says, when you put light up against darkness, darkness loses every time because we are called to be light, right? Yes. And so um, we were in Anaheim, California, just about a month ago, actually. Mm -hmm. And I got to sit down with um, Reverend Sam Rodriguez, um, who serves as the president of the National Hispanic Christian Leadership Conference, and um, talk to him really about Be Light. And so we're right. going to um, hear that interview later on today. And, and yes. we're going to, but you know, I know that you've been kind of close to this message and gotten to journey with him right, right. as he wrote that. Um, what comes to mind when you think about being light? You know, Dr. Rodriguez travels the country and as he talks to believers and leaders just all over the country, he notices that, that there's a sense of concern about darkness, yeah. not just in this country, but in, in, in the communities and in the world and so many things happening that are discouraging. If you, you look at the news, you're going to see a lot of discouragement. Yeah. And, and so he reminds us that Jesus said that he's a light. Yeah. And that he encourages us because we have Christ in us to be the light too. And so, um, so Dr. Rodriguez is, re is reminding believers yeah. who we are in Christ and what effect and impact we can have for our communities and, and really for our children and for our parents. And, you know, we, we are to be the light. And it, it is a powerful, significant message that the family of Christ needs to have. So it's, it's a good word. I love that. You know, as we think about dark times. It's yeah. so easy to want to operate out of fear or out yeah. of anger. Yeah. And I love when I get to hear him speak because he speaks against that to say, God knew that this was coming and he's given us what to do. Right. And that is to be light. And so it's, it's exciting to know that that word is being spoken. So maybe you feel a little afraid or maybe you feel angry and, and are tempted like we are to yes. operate out yes. of that. But God yeah. gives us something different. And I just, I really love that. I, yeah. I think that in particular, as we connect our faith in Christ mm -hmm. with our view of education, wow. sometimes when you think about your educational journey, you can get afraid. You know, yes. I was with it's a group. Scary. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah, I was with a group um, this morning of students mm -hmm. and said, "What's that one obstacle that mm -hmm. stands in your way? What if you had to identify one or two? And the first thing someone said was money. Wow. They, they said, "You know, yeah. I, I'm, well, I get, money can I be get, scary. yeah." They said, yeah. Yeah. "I get that she had just been accepted. She's a new freshman. Okay. She had just been accepted, and she said, I got my first invoice.' Oh my! And she said, I, I looked at it and thought." How am I going to pay for this bill? Well, I've seen um, those bills. And, and, you know, you look as a parent, you look at those bills and you say, wow, things get dark real quick. <laughs> yeah. When you're thinking, yeah. I look at my bank account, I look at the bills, I'm thinking, how are we going to do this? Yeah. And, uh, and, and you know your student is called and yes. you want to help support them. Um, and But her second thing that she mentioned was fear. Sure. She said, you know, yeah. sometimes I, I'm... Um, she was talking about the bill. Another student in the room said, my fear, I, I experience fear, but my fear is actually of not being smart enough. Mm -hmm. And so we got to kind of dive in and talk about what those things are. I, I just believe that this message pertains to yes, that. If yes. you are at home today and there's fear in your life, this message is for you. That's right, that's and right. so it thrills me to be able to tell you a little bit more about this interview. Check out this video. The goals for Education Sunday are pretty simple. If we are saying that we want the faith community and the education community to tear down false walls that have separated them in the past, there's no better way to do it than to dedicate a Sunday to say education is important. The idea of Education Sunday surfaced as an opportunity to help the pastor and people in the pew get an understanding of the importance of education. Transform your church just for a day and elevate the role of education and just for that Sunday focus on education. We will have biblical references, sermons, Sunday school lessons, Bible studies, worship services that are built all around the theme of the importance of education. Churches engage in Education Sunday simply by saying we're in. We will take God's special time on Sunday to affirm the importance of education for our kids. It's a huge innovation. Pastors get this. They understand personally and professionally why education is important to this community. Go online and let us know that you're participating. So you can register for Education Sunday and we can celebrate the fact that you are participating. 